celebrate Black History Month with African American History Day, and it is being held today at the Detroit Historical Museum. And joining us to tell us more about the events planned for the day, Kimberly Simmons. She is the chair of the Detroit Historical uh, Museum's Society of Black History Committee. And then we also have Bruce C. Ford, Sr. He is a genealogist and author of the book, A Tree Fell and Its Roots Survived. I'd like to say welcome to both of you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, Malcolm. Nice to see you. Tell us more about the event. What can we expect to see? Uh, the event officially starts at 11, 11 to 4, um, but the museum is open normal hours today all day from 10 to 5. Uh, the event is going to be fabulous. Everybody should attend. Uh, it's free. Free! It's free. <laughs> I love that price. Uh, the museum will have its regular collection and the exhibits that are there, but there'll be extra. There'll be quilting and uh, there'll be a vendor, a vendor fair, which is usually the star of the day. Uh, we have several presentations in the, in the uh, museum auditorium, and Bruce will be uh, signing his book and giving a presentation during the day. It should be fabulous. Everybody should attend. Bruce, tell us uh, about your book there, A, a Tree Fell and His Roots Survived. Tell us about that. Actually, it's a, it's a, it is a book of uh, 34 years of research on my family, and the spin is a free people living in a slave state, uh, which is my family came to Detroit in 1920. What will people uh, find most interesting about your book? Uh, I believe uh, the most interesting part is we settled here in Detroit. And of course, uh, my family has a lot of skin in the game. My brothers and I happen to be the largest number of uh, uh, police officers to serve the same period of time in the history of the Detroit Police Department, all right? five of us. Wow. Yes. Absolutely incredible. Obviously, uh, African Americans have played a vital role in the uh, construction of America. And this event kicks off Black History Month, and obviously Absolutely. it uh, revolves around African American history. But why should everyone, all races, take part in this? Well, the, what I try to t say to everyone is this is not African American history. This is American history. So we need to celebrate American history. And Detroit played a huge part in uh, the freedom of this country. So come down, learn about it. The Black Historic Sites Committee is uh, uh, happy to welcome everyone we're playing host today. And uh, I think it should be a fabulous day and skip the snow. <laughs> now, are, are there other events planned throughout the month that we can look forward to as well? Oh, sure. Uh, African American History Month. But we're, we're, we didn't live just one month a year, so we've got a lot to pack in. But we've got uh, a couple of scholar series. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, films that are showing during the course of the month. Uh, and there's a uh, film and discussion. Uh, we should have a great month. You should come and join us or check the uh, website, the Detroit Historical Society's website. Excellent. Kimberly Simmons and Mr. Bruce C. Ford, thank you very Pleasure much for joining us. Thank you. We will have more 7 Action News coming right up.